In this video, we'll be discussing the traffic offense relating to the BC Motor Vehicle Act, Section 149, also known as failing to stop for a school bus. That's coming right up. Hi, my name is Sean and I'm one of the driving instructors here at Zula Driving School. So let's take a look at what a Motor Vehicle Act states. It reads, the driver of a vehicle on a highway on meeting or overtaking a school bus that is designated as a school bus that is stopped on a highway and on or near which a sign or signal is displayed indicating the school bus is receiving or discharging school children must stop the vehicle before reaching the bus and not proceed until the bus resumes motion or the driver of the bus signals to the other drivers that it is safe to proceed. So what does this mean in layman's terms? Well, if you see a school bus with its stop sign out or when the red light on the back are flashing, then you need to stop even if you're traveling the opposite direction. You only resume after the bus has moved on or it has turned off the flashing lights and pulled in its stop sign. Failure to abide by this section of the Motor Vehicle Act can land you a $368 ticket with three driver penalty points. Now this is only valid at the time of making this video, so the fine and points can increase in the future without notice. For the most up-to-date information, be sure to check out ICBC's website as well as the BC Motor Vehicle Act. If you have any questions or would like to receive driving lessons to improve your driving skills, be sure to check out our website at www.zula.ca. Thank you and until next time, remember that having a cooperative attitude on the road goes a long way in keeping everybody safe on the roads we share.